Hello, my name is Richard Lukage. I am a founding partner of Bank Street. Uh, Bank Street is a leading communications infrastructure and services uh, investment bank, uh, providing services uh, to emerging companies and growing companies and large scale players uh, in our ecosystems or areas of focus uh, on a global basis. There have been some ebbs and flows in the overall uh, uh, evolution of the marketplace and, and in the consolidation pace. I think it's also important to notice that uh, over the course of a consolidation uh, wave, that by definition, through consolidation, there's a smaller universe of players and the magnitude of the transactions in question have grown uh, significantly. Uh, so in terms of volumes of overall transactions, it should not be a surprise to anyone given the volume of uh, M&A activity that has existed over the last, particularly the last decade, um, that perhaps we will see a smaller number of, of aggregate transactions. Introducing the enterprise into the discussion, that's a customer segment. So from my perspective, uh, a customer segment uh, in most cases buys all of the above. I mean, there are many enterprises that buy Colo only products. There are, there are enterprises that buy a collaboration of all of those. Uh, some some direct Colo, some managed solutions for various applications, and um, and pure cloud solutions for others uh, as well. And then there are others that are live in the cloud only. So when we talk about a customer segment, it's very hard to say that there's a a, a large macro customer segment that is completely homogeneous into a particular segment of of cloud hosting and or co-location products. Um, I do believe, and I think as a firm, uh, our perspective is that these, these uh, segments will continue to exist and will be consumed by all of the players. I also think that to some degree an enterprise that crosses over uh, into these ecosystems just because an enterprise perhaps uh, offsets some of its traditional colo consumption uh, with some new cloud activity or, or managed or other form of hosted solution, um, it doesn't mean that, in essence, that same Colo facility doesn't have that business. It's, in fact, in, in effect, in some cases, just going in directly through a new, a new service provider that's now consuming that, that uh, Colo space in a different way. We have seen hundreds of business models uh, in terms of people's go-to-market strategies and balances between products and balances between uh, uh, go-to-market strategies and, and distribution models, et cetera. Uh, the model in totality has to hold together. Um, it's not the case that uh, uh, necessarily by definition, one model versus another is the only way to go to market, but in totality, it has to, it has to make sense. Your customer acquisition strategy has to provide a, ultimately a payback and a return on investment to investors that also have to be the right investors. The growth rates in some of these ecosystems is impossible to ignore. And uh, to the degree that they trend um, in, in adoption, similar to what we saw in cloud adoption, it should be a very exciting contributor to the overall ecosystem. Having said that, I don't think it actually obviates um, the need for any of the infrastructures that we've deployed over the last two decades. In many respects, it's probably going to actually incrementally demand additional capacities and um, in, in, in much more refined and defined ways in terms of how it's adopted and utilized going forward. I don't think there's going to be wholesale decommissioning of any large scale uh, facilities. And I'm not sure that even we will see a slowing down of uh, large facilities um, that are being deployed organically by many of the larger players. Uh, on the other hand, I do think we're going to see a proliferation of much smaller footprint uh, and much larger in number um, uh, edge type facilities that uh, uh, are far more proximate to a uh, highly interconnected uh, facility.